Welcome to the most up-to-date video guide on how to install The Sims 4 on Apple iMacs and MacBooks. Coming up. Hi, I'm Weezer and welcome to WeSims. Here I help Simmers navigate the more technical side of things with computer guides, fixes, recommendations just like this. This is an update to my previous guide on how to buy and install The Sims 4 on computers and consoles uh, because things actually are different for Mac. More different than what we thought. For reference, I made this tutorial on an Apple MacBook Air 2015 and it was running Mac OS Big Sur version 11.1. .1. Step one, can you play it? Make sure you can actually play The Sims 4 on your Mac or the Mac that you're interested in purchasing. I have a video guide over here that you can check out and that'll give you an idea of whether it meets The Sims 4's minimum or recommended requirements. Step two, get Origin. Now that we've established that your device can play The Sims 4, it's time to download and install Origin. A big change to the guide that I'm making this time around is that uh, it's not actually clearly communicated anywhere that The Sims 4 is not available for download on Steam. So that is a huge correction to my original guide. Your only option at this point is through Origin, but hey, they've been having some good sales lately, so not too bad of a deal. In any case, you'll need Origin and an Origin or EA account to play The Sims 4, as well as access its online features. A big note, big, 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 big note for my Mac friends. The link that is like standard on the Origin webpage does not actually recognize Mac OS Big Sur as being the most up-to-date version of Mac OS. This is a big problem because it doesn't allow you to download the most up-to-date version of Origin, which doesn't allow you to download The Sims 4 in its most up-to-date version. The real trick to getting The Sims 4 on your up-to-date Mac OS is hidden in the EA Help Guides. So I have directly linked it on the screen here, and you'll find it in the description as well, to directly download the most up-to-date version of Origin, which recognizes Mac OS Big Sur as the most up-to-date version. And if you don't want to download software that strangers recommend on the internet, there is the original source in the download link as well, so that you can rest assured that what you're downloading is a safe file. Step three. Now you need to sign in or create an Origin account. It's pretty straightforward. Sign in or create your Origin account. Step four, buy The Sims 4. You can quickly do this by searching for The Sims 4 and getting to its product page. From that page, you'll be able to select the edition that you're interested in. You are more than welcome to ignore all of the um, marketing for EA Play. Just, just go straight past that and just get the game, especially if it's on a really good sale. Go through the regular payment process that you would for any other game on Origin and voila, The Sims 4 should be added to your library. Step five, question mark, question mark, question mark. Let the game download and whatever packs you've also bought, let them download as well. Step six, profit. You should be able to play The Sims 4. Start it up and get going with your family. And if you want to know how to play The Sims 4, I have multiple guides. Check them out over here. I hope that you're gonna find them helpful. If you have questions or issues with Origin, please reach out to them on their official forums, link in the description. I am not affiliated with them. I can only Google. That is my that is my superpower. I hope you found this helpful. Definitely subscribe to eSims if you want to see more technical content made simple for Sims. See you in the next one. Sil Sil. Step two.